My great grandmother, Ida B. Wells, was an astounding woman who overcame her fear for what was right, even if it meant giving her life. I am proud to see her life of sacrifice and courage, honored with the unveiling and inclusion of this gorgeous portrait on these hall of walls. You know, when I think of Ida B. Wells, I think of a life without limits. I think of intersectionality. My favorite story about my great-grandmother Ida is that, you know, she was a incredible journalist, but would receive criticism for not focusing enough on the women's rights movement. And when she responded to suffragists, she would say, you know, I'm a woman and, and rights are extremely important, but how can I focus on voting when I'm still getting lynched? And I think that all of us, when we walk through this earth, we hold many identities. You know, I'm becoming a med student very soon, and I believe that when I walk this world, I'm not just a doctor, but I'm an advocate. I'm a representation of black women in science. I'm you know, a passionate person, and I think that we all hold those things. So don't be one identity, don't be one part of your whole, but be a whole of your parts. And that's what I think about when I think of Ivy Wells. Thanks. Good morning. Good morning. Or maybe good afternoon at this point. Um, when I think of Ida, I think of her pure determination, despite being a woman, despite fear, despite hell or high water, Ida persevered. And when I think about being a black woman and a black American, I think about all of us existing today as perseverance, and that in itself is a blessing. Ida was able to survive by coming to Brooklyn and being supported by so many great people here. It is not only amazing to live in Brooklyn now and to be a New Yorker and honor her legacy, but to also honor all of the people that supported her to make her who she is today. So we thank Brooklyn, we thank all of you for coming here today, and we also are so honored to have you guys truly, truly, acknowledge our great-grandmother. I can't explain how that means the world to us. Thank you.